Ta-da! No! Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my taste test videos. And today, I'm gonna be taste testing the... I think it's pretty old. They're, I'm pretty sure they're stale. They're pretty hard. But guys, I'm gonna be taste testing the... Yeah, I don't have the wrapper, but eh, I have all these. <laughs> these are all the flavors. I have um, bubblegum, I think that's what it was, or strawberry. Bubblegum or strawberry. I'll, I'll find that out later. And then strawberry or watermelon. Banana, since I'm 100% I'm sure that's not lemon. Then it's grape. And blueberry. Not blue raspberry, but blueberry, apparently. They never do blue... <sighs> blueberry gums that good. All they do is blue raspberry gums that are good. Now, my brother told me that these things are pretty stale. That they don't taste that good, but they're like a new experience. I, I don't really know how to say that. <clears throat> and so let's get this stuff ready. I'm actually scared because I don't know when this stuff was made. <laughs> For all I know, this could have been made in 1963. Ah. So let's just go get this thing ready and eat the first piece, which will be blue. And, ooh, that's, that's oh, nice wrapping. Oh, I wonder if I get a tattoo. Ooh. Ben, don't eat all the gum. Ooh, I am going to eat all this, but, ooh, look at that pattern, guys. That's a really nice pattern. Okay. So, this gum looks, ooh, <coughs> uh, I think the entire flavor of the gum is in the powder. Ah, headache now, ugh, I don't want to eat this. And give it to me. Nope. Oh, I ate all the gum. Oh, no, you didn't. Jackson, get off. Gosh. How do I explain it? <laughs> like an edible, edible piece of rubber. <coughs> That's horrible. Okay, Mom will find Maybe this did have an expiration date. <laughs> uh, the okay. For the tattoo. Where's the tattoo? Is the tattoo on it? No tattoos. I, I need to get a tattoo in this. I really want to get a tattoo. The powder is tattoos. The powder is the tattoos? Oh, God. It's nasty. I hate it. Ugh. Then I tell you, it tastes good. Dude, it tastes like rubber. Uh. It tastes like rubber. Ugh. Okay, and you have to do a jump test. It tastes horrible. Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> okay. The taste is gone, but it's just. <coughs> Maybe one of the other four, oh. five flavors will be better. This is cool. It looks nasty though. Ugh. This. Watch out for Okay. Good for you. Okay. So next I'm gonna go taste this. Goodbye. Purple gum. It's not working. Okay, not it. Do, 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 do. Uh I don't want to eat this one either. Okay. Mm. 
What do I do? Just. Okay. All I do was give, give me the powder. I don't understand its packaging. It's telling me that I get fifth, five out of all of the gum that I have upstairs. I got a gigantic pack of all this. Jeez. Uh, what do I do? Okay. Mm. What do I do? Mm. That's amazing. Mm. Okay. Okay, the grape actually has a good flavor. <clears throat> but it kind of gets canceled out by like the rubber kind of thing in it. Okay. I'm I would say I would keep eating this, but it doesn't have like everlasting flavor. I have to go with new gum for this, but new gum is much better. And guys, later today, I will be doing a taste test for some kind of limited edition Oreos that were limited, but they aren't really limited anymore. They're not the cookie crust ones, which I never actually taste those. Next time, I'm going to go taste those. I think they're really good. I, I watched Lamar Wilson eat them, and he said that they're fantastic. Well, in his thing, he got like three packs. Okay, and I'm gonna shoot you. Okay, so. <laughs> fail. Uh, why are you failing? Uh, now I missed that one again. I'm gonna save this one for later. Yeah. I'm kidding, I'm not that nerdy. Okay. Uh, it still tastes disgusting though. Uh, I think PewDiePie should have some of this. Next, banana. Then it's red, and then it's whatever that is. Strawberry, bubblegum. Okay. okay. You guys tell me in the comments what flavor these are, and tell me what they are. Watch your blip and boom. This is a banana one. Why would they have banana? Okay, banana. Banana doesn't have a flavor to it. Uh, uh, wait. Oh. Do it. You poopy. Hmm? You know like poop. Oh. What is this? <clears throat> okay. What is this? What the Is this Huh? know anything about this like about the tattoo type stuff oh, well it's non-toxic coloring that, that that's that's good to know thanks okay mm. moisture skin slightly hint use hand lotion okay place that to color side down Press firmly for 15 seconds. Do not rub. Peel off slowly. What do you mean? Are, are these the tattoos? Where's the tattoos? Tattoos in one of these? What the, what the crap? What? Okay, I'm going to get some one of these is a, some kind of wrapped up tattoo. Whatever. Okay. What do I say about the gum, though? I'm starting to get used to the flavor, actually. Actually, it has a pretty long flavor. But... I'm done with this gum. It's not banana, dude. This is totally not banana. Yeah, it's like something. It's like... Okay. Some it's it's company. it's yellow. It's just it doesn't taste like banana. It tastes like lemon. Not lemon actually. It doesn't taste like lemon. But 
even if it tastes like the other one. Okay, so next is red. And Another what? mystery color that I had no idea. Red. Mm. Well, that one had... This one doesn't have a tattoo in it. If you guys know anything about the tattoo idea, just tell me in the comments. Just yell me in the comments, because uh, nobody else that does That takes it. <laughs> that gum! Ah. That one sour, so it had to be apple or something. It's not apple. Okay. 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 Nope, I need to use that. Why? Actually, I can't tell. These papers are really hard to tell. Hello. Okay. Now you can do it. Watermelon doesn't have like a specific flavor. Strawberry does. I'm pretty sure this is strawberry, but this is probably bubble gum. Some kind of watermelon flavor. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's or pink face. <coughs> oh, what is this? Is it like poisoned? Bad candy. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm usually with like the good candy kind of stuff, but like the newer candy and all that, but I've never tasted this old candy. It oh well, it's gum. Uh, it, it's very <coughs> gaggy. It has lots of gag to it. And guys, um, I also have an announcement to make. Um, I'm gonna be deleting my um, my Ben Sutton vl vlogs and gaming account because nobody watches it. So who cares? I'm just gonna put it on my regular channel because nobody watches my other channel. So if I get really famous and if I get 100,000 subscribers, I'll go back to second channel and do some more work with that and maybe. Looks like. Ew! What is that? What? Is it like poisoned? Oh, by the way, they all have the same pattern. It's just. Ugh! What is that? Ew! It's like a green mush on it. What is that? Ugh! Well, I think it might just be part of the gum. Ugh! Oh my god! Okay. Um. Let's go ahead. Yuck. You. I feel like I'm have to cover. Oh! I'm gonna hmm. barf. Hmm? Okay, this gum gives me, like, a mix I of reactions. I'm like, well, it's good and it's disgusting, but which way am I gonna go on this? <laughs> I'm gonna barf. Oh, wait one second. Yeah. I don't really know what to say about this gum. Yeah, I barfed. Yeah. <laughs> it puts in your gag reflexes. <coughs> oh my god. I don't know what that is. It's like a messed up type of bubble gum. Uh, so. My god. Don't. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. Ugh. I didn't even get to pass the full flavor in there. <laughs> My god. That should be a challenge. So guys, this was the fruit stripe challenge or whatever. And we had five pieces here to do. We did all five of them. I have five wrappers right here. One, two, three, four... Five, five rappers. And I have to say that this was the worst candy you can ever get at this time. I swear, this must be like 80s Ghostbusters type stuff. I, I don't know. It's, it's nasty. Jeez, I don't know why they would sell this. Is this like 
European or Australian candy? What I'm is this? Candy, candy, candy. I'm gonna have to do some research on this, but yep, I will tell you guys later in the video if I found out. Probably not, but still, I'm gonna do some editing to this, and that is going to be all for today, so see you later, alligators. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Hey, guys, and I'm back, and sorry, I added this video to my first video, and let's just go see about this fruit stripe gum that tasted like crap. Okay. Can't open my why? Oh, never mind. Okay, whatever. Who cares? Okay, fruit stripe gum. Fruit Stripe is an artificial and naturally flavored fruit gum notorious for its strong yet fleeting flavor. It prou proudly claims to be the only gum with painted, painted, how wonder, or, st or stripes, and is packaged in zebra striped wrapper temporary, temporary tattoos. What? So are you telling me that Fruit Stripe Gum has tattoos in the wrappers? What? No way. What? N no way. What? Come on. Okay. So I guess the Fruit Stripe mo mascot is a unicorn. I'm kidding. It's a zebra, but I don't. The five flavor gum was invented by James Parker and launched in early 1960. How wonder that is so old. And it ended in 2000. What? Jeez. How wonder this stuff tastes like crap. It's so old. Okay. The five flavor gum was invented by James Parker and launched in the early 1969 as a extension of the. I thought I said bleach nut. <laughs> Beach nut gum line. Farley's and Sather's Candy Company acquired Fruit Stripe in 2003 from the Hershey Company. What? Wait, so are you telling me that this is almost made by Hershey? What the crap, Hershey? Make some, like, chocolate gum. Actually... Yeah, Urgy, um, take that. So somebody just hashtag send this to Hershey or something. I don't, I don't know. It... I told you I want that. F Farley's and Sather's merged with Ferrara Pan in 2012, forming the Ferrara Candy Company. Why should I care? Mascots, a character known as Fruit Stripe Gum Man, promoted the product as late as 1967. He merely consists consisted of an imp th 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 what gum pack with limb with limbs and what what anthroponorthic imp with what ah, I can't even say it okay the striped family the striped family animal which included a zebra Connor, the tiger, elephant, and mouse. Oh, I'd love to see mouse. This would really just show how powerful it is. Were also used in advertising and featured in a coloring book and plus. What would we want plush toys? Especially for this gum. This gum tastes like crap. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, whatever. However, a cartoon zebra named the Yipes. I, I never liked that name. Has outlasted the other characters to become Fruit Stripe's long standing soul mascot. Rappers contain tattoos of the uh, Yipes in line skating, playing baseball, hang gliding, playing basketball.
bicycling, snowboarding, surfing, playing soccer, playing tennis, and eating eating grass? In 1988, Yipes was made into a promotional bendy figure, which according to Farley's and Sathers.com, it currently values at approximately $30 through $50 in collectible marketplace. What? For crying out loud, what? So this stuff is worth something? And they just made me eat it? What the crap? That, that's crap right there. Yipes is shown prominently on Fruit Stripe Gun packaging. Yipes is often shown as a sports player playing basketball or soccer on the gum packaging. How wonder I hate him. He's my worst enemy now. I hate him! Okay, in promotions, whatever. In 1996, Fruit Stripe gave 5% from sale of each Jumbo Pack and Variety Multipack to the World Wildlife Fund. Fund. Okay. Now, that is good. I, I like that they did that. But totaling up to 100000 for preservation of endangered animals and their habitats. Okay. That's one thing. Some packs of fruit stripe gum include temporary tech some packs. Okay. Oh, do do, do the rest include permanent? Oh, maybe I can try this. I'm, I'm kidding. Okay. Mm, don't care, don't care, don't care. Okay, so that basically just proves everything. Um so guys, that is gonna be completely over and that is going to be all for today until later on this afternoon. So, bye!